what was I doing outside? That's not getting ready to go into the dungeon. Did I come out here to sleep? Is that what I did? I must have. What's my spells? I have a knock, chromatic orb, shield, pacify, and two magic missiles. Where's my spell book? Ah. So I can identify. Did we pick up something that I needed to identify? I can't remember. What does Fist of Iron do? Uh, it gives the caster a fist the strength and durability of iron, turning it into a living weapon. Ah, okay. Um, when cast, all all his normal punches are plus three to hit and plus six to damage. It's really actually freaking good if you think about it. Because what... I mean, if we're gonna melee, that is, right? Armor... Uh, oh yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, armor class of six to the target. Um, it's cumulative with dexterity, but nothing else. Uh, okay. Friends, blindness, shield. Yeah, an AC three against all attacks, plus one all saving throws. Uh, I, I like this. So we definitely have shield as far as uh, defensive spells go. We got magic missile for uh, some offensive spells. Um, I think we're fighting with a knife. We even have a pacify. Spell will two to eight creatures of six HD or less in the area. Um, Except for undead. I believe where we're going, there's a lot of undead. Uh, hmm. So it's kind of like a sleep. Yeah. Until unharmed. So, we're, so if there is anything alive in there, we do have one pacify. I think having one is fine. Uh, the chromatic orb is just some nice damage. <laughs> this... Blue is better than yellow. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's an orb of color, which can be hurled at a target using the caster's normal attack roll plus three. So, what level are we? What's our mage level? We're mage level four, so if we go back to the spell book, we are hurling a yellow, which does one to ten points of damage. It also uh, does minus four attack, minus four, um, what is that, strength, plus four AC. So for ten seconds, we lower their strength and their attack. So, uh, yeah, I, that that's why I went ahead and with it. with it. Because with the Chromatic Orb, we can put this on. It doesn't matter about the damage. The damage is bonus. Um, but, yeah. We're, 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 we're lowering, lowering this. And I'm assuming we're gaining plus four armor class. So. Wait a minute. We're, we're back in old D&D &D rules. Plus four AC is making them easier to hit. Yeah, this is old D&D rules. <laughs> I forgot. So uh, the positive number, not so great for that target, right? You, you want to come down on that. Yeah, AC of three is better than AC of four, in other words. Okay, so I, I think, yeah, I, if I'm not mistaken, this the, the layout that I have, I'm, I'm happy with. We, we got a defensive spell. We got an AOE spell. Some damage spells from uh, a couple from uh, in the back range here. So uh, we do a missile every two levels. So since we're a mage four, I believe that adds 
for a total of five missiles at level nine. There you go. I don't know when we learned this, if it was Mage 2 or Mage 1, but uh, th this basically tells you five missiles at level nine. So I think I do two missiles, is what it's saying. For two to five points of damage. Either way, it, it, it's, it's spells. We get stronger as we get uh, more levels. It's fine. I, I think um, right now my... Where do I uh, go for... In the... Uh, not the... Uh, is it inventory screen? Yeah. We're, we're fighting with the bone dagger and the bone da and we have an AC of four right now. Oh, really good. Uh, already one to six piercing. It's enchanted. Plus one piercing damage plus uh, to our hit armor class, you know, to, to hit the target plus one. Um, yeah, I think I think we're fine. Got some crap though. Um, this uh, heals, right? Okay. This heals. This does what? Um, lore set to one hundred, so we can identify things. Okay. Uh, negative token. It holds shadow creatures temporarily, and it also wards against shadows. So not bad. This is a damage over time spell. Is that it? Um, yeah, a stream of insects from their nose and mouth provided uh, the charmed individual can keep their wits. Oh, it, it's to help uh, interrupt spells, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, if we're not getting attacked, we, we should be able to keep the cast. The caster can send this cloud to attack a target. So it's just, I think it's some drain, like a healing drain spell. Uh, so we got that. Um, the ring adds plus two to armor class. Why am I not wearing that? Once placed upon the wind's finger, the ring bites down and holds on so tenaciously that it's impossible to remove it. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I'm not wearing it. <laughs> yeah, it's a cursed ring. And like I said, anything that adds armor class, not the greatest. But yeah, we I think uh, we're just holding on to it for a quest objective or something. We do have a pet. What is this? A speed note junk. This is one of my eyeballs. <laughs> it's seen better days, which we replaced with a... Uh... <laughs> I forgot about that. It's been a while since we played this game. But yeah, we have a um, plus 10% attack trap skill bonus, minus one to armor class versus crushing attacks, plus one versus missile attacks. So uh, the minus one is great, uh, but you know, we, we're not as, we're not able to dodge missile attacks uh, so well, but, uh, but the, yeah, our Thacko to hit is plus one, which is good. Uh, anything to 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 our hit is also great because you're adding more dice, uh, you know, numbers into that to uh, to better hit the target. Um, yeah, the user becomes more vulnerable to crushing attacks. However, some of the... what? Wait a minute. I thought we were in old D and D rules. Minus one to armor class. Yeah, 
Yeah, it increases. Okay, given the wear greater accuracy with weapons and giving him a greater chance of dodging incoming missile attacks. Okay, my bad. My bad. The plus one armor class when it. But the armor class is still going down. Okay. Hmm. Old D&D &D rules sometimes confuses me. My, my own intestines. Don't remember what I took them out for. <laughs> <laughs> anyway this gives me a default armor class of six um okay so our total armor class the lower the number the harder it is for your enemies to hit you yes and anything that adds plus armor class <clears throat> is going to lower the number. I got to keep that in mind. But again, this is old D&D &D stuff. So every now and then I get a little confused, which is why in 5th edition and future editions, they've made it easier to understand that uh, the higher number, the better. <laughs> Instead of the old D&D &D stuff, the lower the number, the better. But yeah, so like I, I armor class modifiers minus one, which is missile plus one. See, th this is coming from what we're wearing, right? So um, the armor class modifiers. Th this is what I'm talking about. Old D and D rules here. <clears throat> this is correct. It makes us easier to dodge missiles with the minus one, harder to dodge crushing plus one, right? I shouldn't be melee anyway, so it doesn't matter as far as having that glass eye in. But if we go back to our inventory screen here, minus one to crushing plus one to missile. So when you're actually viewing the item, plus is good, minus is negative. So, but when it factors in, because of the old D and D rules, it's actually getting less, and it, and it works with the the armor class here. So, um, think of it this way: in the old D and D rules, with Thaco, two hit armor class zero. So right now I have a sixteen, right? So whenever I'm attacking with something. Let's see. Let me pull up the old formula. Thaco formula. This will this will make sense here. So let's see. If a character stacko was ten, well minus sixteen. Uh, it means I need to roll a sixteen. To hit an AC of zero, right? Uh, a nine to hit an AC of one, or an eleven to hit an AC of negative. So when you're adding the numbers in, right now my Thaco is a sixteen. So I need to roll a sixteen to, to hit something that is zero. So if I'm hitting something that is Right now, my armor class is four, right? <clears throat> then I only need to roll a 12 or higher in, to, in order to hit something. But the way this keeps going down, let's say it was, it was, say it was zero, right? So if an AC is zero, I have to roll a 16 or above. If it keeps going to negative, you know, like back in my Paladin days on Bald Baldur's Gate, I think I had like a negative 10 or 11. I can't remember with all the spells and everything. 
So uh, it makes it even more difficult because you got to get a keep getting the higher number. So. So, yeah, um, because it's Thacko minus uh, armor class equals yada yada. And don't forget. Anything that's minus with a minus, you know, negative number, you know, you, you, you have to. <laughs> you have to do a little math there to make it that positive, right? So it actually adds. Into it. So, but yeah, it's, it's a little formula back using some algebra. Of course, they've simplified it for 5e, but yeah. Hey, thank you so much, Burton. But it, it is spam, so. All right. Okay, um, let me look at my journal screen here and see if I can't get caught up. What? Why? Uh, why did we come? Yeah, we're gonna go into the uh, catacombs beneath Sigil here. Um, I need to get a bronze spear. I believe this comes later. I believe this comes later too. Okay. So why why did I come in here? I think I came in here to uh sleep. What time is it in the day? 2 35 p.m. and we're all rested up. I think that's what I'm what I've what I did and I'm on my way back. So uh what's the quickest way there? I can't remember if it's here or here. Oh, oh I guess I'll go up here. Oh. Forgot that you have to hold down the the, the shift in order to, to you know run. Do I have stuff that needs to be so sold? What does this do? Tattoo of the Restless Dead. What does this do? Bless. Limited to uses before it vanishes. Okay. That's one armor class. Armor class, armor class. So crush against crushing, bandages. Let's see. Spice travels through. I believe it, yeah, it can heal. But it also does an aid. Yeah, it should add to their uh, dice rolls, in other words. I forgot what you do. Oh, okay, this... Wait, can I use it? All right. What did that do? Oh, yeah, it... it this is just, just... This just allows them to cast spells, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway. And uh, what spells did he have again? Endure. Probably good that I go ahead and... In enduring familiarize myself with them. Now this is new. 
Is that because I used the, uh, the, the thing? Because I know we had these. This, uh, increases... It's hit and saving throws. But all creatures that are friendly. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. I think it was the, the red one that does, yeah, the damage. This is a magic missile. This is a defensive for him. This is saving throws and to hit to party. This is the or the target minus one penalty with blindness and suffer a minus four penalty to its attack. This will increase the strength of himself. And this will non-undead target within a touch range and drain life from himself and give it to the target. Okay, so it's a way to heal others by taking some of his life. Okay. What's up? And then he had some, uh, what is it, abilities. It's the taunt, right? The target suffers a minus two to hit and then a minus two to AC and a minus two to damage as long as the curse is in effect. Can't be used against undead though. I hear your words. All right. We need to travel down. Or was it up here? Uh, I think it was up there, actually. Forgot the map. At least we're not getting attacked right now. Come on, Cutter. And then we travel all the way to all here, right. I believe. Might help if I put my headset on. Yeah, I think we did a lot of... I'm gone. Why do I have to turn this on every single time? I think we did a lot of sailing and sleeping. Uh, is it here? This goes to the burning, the buried village. Yeah, and I've already explored all of this, right? Except I can't remember what was over here. Doesn't look like, yeah, it's just, it's just. I forgot it was something. Okay, hold up. Oh yeah, it was just to get into here. And we've already got all of that. I need to adjust the sound.
still think it's I still think it's going to be loud. <laughs> Why is this game just so loud? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. Uh, back. There we go. Had to re-familiarize myself with some of the commands and stuff, but, uh, we're getting there. And then we just... We go into down here, right? Yeah. Because we're all neutral with everyone. And, and yeah, I talked to everyone. We just need to go. Done. Into the, uh, the tombs. Door is locked. Am I in the right spot? Pretty sure I am. I think I talk to the guards and they'll let me in. Is it bar? What do you want this time? So Ferret gave me leave to go down to the catacombs. I need you to open the gate. Then get going, Bert, and don't waste our time. Farewell. We got a rat to fight already. So now we're here. I'm not going to chase after the rat. If it comes back, that's fine. The grave has been thoroughly desecrated. Done. Done. Thanks so much, Brahms. Ah, there we go. I was like, what button tells me all the... Okay, what is this? Oh, is that a trap? I don't know. The corpse is fairly fresh within the last couple of weeks or so. Anyway, and large prints of it have been gnawed away by rat teeth. The forehead skin on the corpse looks like someone really brained this poor sod. You nudge it with your toe and it flops around bonelessly. Nothing useful here. Okay. What is that? This, 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 this. This lies, uh, the corpse lies motionless. No amount of prodding or proking induces it to say or do anything. I guess it's not a zombie then. <laughs> we're just, we're actually, we're actually going up to corpses and poking it <laughs> to see if it's a zombie or not. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, they look as though they were fighting and have been cut down. Okay. Those skeletons, huh? I shouldn't be running so much. There could be traps. And I do have a detect 10% ch chance to, to detect them. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should walk. Graves have been professionally looted, huh? Okay, can we go attack this so it can stop? Uh... 
dead. Fine. Okay. I don't like that I'm out up front. We need to change this formation. I need myself kind of in the back. But I guess I could change the... Uh, uh, how do you do it again? Ah, there we go. So I could be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that nature, but anyway. Yeah. Didn't mean for that to happen. I hit the pause button. <laughs> We're gonna send Morty first to attack this. And we got rats coming. Damn it. Surely I can take on rats, right? I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm gonna go help out with the school. There we go. And then we can send Mort on that one. Balance in all things. Can we get off this? Okay, thank you. Are there just more rats coming? Something valuable once. I'm gone. Where's an enemy? It's another ghoul. I'm gone. What? I'm gonna let it come to us because I don't know what's over there. What's up, Chief? Okay. Dang, 12 points of damage against... What's his armor class? Minus three, yeah. What's the word, Chief? It is I. Your path is mine. What's up? Good is done. I'm gone. Gold ring, huh? It'll sell. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna open up the entire map here before we go into anything. Done. Oh. Didn't want them out in front, but whatever. What does an antler axe do? Two to seven slashing. Only by uh, fighters. Okay, so something to sell. Done. Done. Enemies sighted. Rats. I didn't know it was coming for me! <laughs> this dungeon just went from basic hack and slash to what is casting that is it the cranium rats I think so I think the freaking rats cast it because they're cranium rats yeah endure get in there An enduring <laughs> Why are you running? I didn't tell you to run in there. Done. I hear your words. 
Okay, 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 okay. Just stop with the electricity for a second. I have more, right? Uh, select spell. Which one gives us the saving throws and a hit? What's the range? Okay. Do it. Get out of there, Dakon! Did he even use his special ability yet? Get out of there, Dakon! Okay. Yes, he did. Okay. Uh, Dakon, come over here. You, uh, get in there and you help out. Oh boy. Alright. Wait. We got, okay, you need to heal. No. Bandage, boy, bandage! Okay, are you done? Get back in here! Got the swarm on us. We got a ghoul zombie coming. Balance in all things. Huh? I didn't think these things. I just thought they were regular rats. That's the first time that uh, we felt a little threatened. Cranium rats. Now, I probably could have used the pacify spell there, the sleep spell, and it probably would have worked better. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. Okay, what, is it, what do y'all do? Uh, oh, y'all are just sell items. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What does this do? No matter. Okay, it's not a zombie. All right, so we're just poking things. At least I'm healing with my smiling bottle. Ah, Elysium Tears. So these are the tears of sorrow that were shed by the person's relatives. All the rage and anguish of the person's senseless death and battle are contained in this smiling bottle. <laughs> mm. By throwing this at the enemy, their wrath can be unleashed. All right. Did I have quest objective for that? Um, lucky knife and the bronze sphere. 
and of course find the source of the bodies. I think I know the source of the bodies. People are coming in here trying to strike it rich and they're just dying to everything here. All right. I probably should heal. <laughs> should heal. Uh, maybe pass those bandages over from Padre. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like that that's OK. I'm a little bit more fragile. All right. And give him the mort, I guess. Oh, what do we have here? You have a oh usable by thieves. That's right. We don't have a thief yet, but we're, we're saving all the thief gear. That we can. All right. Let's put this back on the con. All right. Golly, that spell. Why? For crying out loud. How? I have the volume almost to non-existent and it's still loud. <clears throat> what is our... Uh... That's our qu quick save again. It was Q, but we can't do that when there's enemies nearby. What? Yes, I'm I, gone. I know, I know. But it didn't see us. So there, we got a quick save in. Hadn't done that in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Okay, look. I don't want you Done. to be the first one seen. What's up, G? Sure, why not? Yeah, y'all, y'all just come hang out here. Let the zombie come to you. There it goes. <laughs> it has finally engaged. And who has the better? Yeah, it's Takan. All right. I hear your words. That's a huge hit. Nine. What's the word, Chief? I will hear you. Sure, why not? Done. The body appears to have been equipped and outfitted after the flesh decayed from its bones. Interesting. So someone is purposely rising the dead in here, it looks like. I'm gone. <laughs> Lies motionless. Yeah, I guess it's not a zombie. Balance up in all things. Sure, why not? It is I. Your path is mine. that dude you just took a bite out of that crit 16 so am i the only one that heals All over right. time i think so probably didn't need to bandage up that much okay i didn't i didn't realize my um i was going to heal that much if i'm being perfectly honest what is my constitution at a nine so yeah i <laughs> We shouldn't be healing that often, but I guess I'm just getting lucky, maybe? Right. Maybe I'm playing too damn slow? Probably. Ooh. Okay, there is definitely something over here. I'm just gonna move on back. Endure. Your put will you over here. Done. Huh? I hear your words. What is this? I thought there was something over here, too. So, with I that being you. said... Your path is mine. Yeah, I'd rather pull this one. All right. 
what? Okay, we got both. What's up, Chief? Can we tell? Can we keep them right there? Maybe. Nope. They wanted to just let them come. Let them get a hit. They critted on him. Boom, we got a hit in. All right. No, I want you to attack that. Did you see that? Man, in all we're going to have to do a lot of healing. What does this do? 27 reduces fatigue. I don't want to use those yet. I'd rather use those in combat. But then again, I mean, the bandages are cheap to buy and use. So, um, might as well just do that. Okay. The sound is still high, but hey, shock, what's going on? All right. All right. All right, I don't want to send myself over What's there. The word, Chief? It is I. Good is done. We're going to walk. Okay, so there is more of these stupid things. Uh, everyone stop. <laughs> How many are there? And I'm assuming these are undead or maybe they're bats. I, I have no idea. But uh, you come back here. No, right. come back here. What's up? That's a lot. Come. Good is done. Okay. How do I want to play this? I'm assuming these are bats. Okay. Engage. Engage. Get on this one. Okay, better. Better. I'm gone. It's good experience. So that means there's more in this corner, maybe? Done. Done. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? Bandages. We'll take that. Take that any day. Might have more do right. some more tanking because he's got more health than uh, Dakan. Uh. Huh? Good is done. Done. We're gonna poke this. Yeah, I guess it's not a zombie since we poked it and it didn't move. Uh, like the beyond it appears to have been defaced. Uh. What? Good is done. As you pass one of the twisted stone faces in the walls, it calls out to you in a creaking voice that sounds like a shifting of boulders. Immortal, regard me. I am live. I would have words with you. How did you know I'm immortal? I see a burning purpose within your shell. I see many things in the falling dust of these tunnels. You lack something essential, and that keeps you from death's sweet embrace. Okay. What did you want to say? Listen, this place holds much danger for you. Treachery awaits you on the surface, and your way is long and windy. At the end, you will find what you have sought, but you may not want it then. Hmm. 
maybe you'll have some answers for me. What did you want to know? Tell me of yourself. How did you know come to be in this situation? Yeah. I was once a respected leader of my community in the lower ward. A pretty lord sought to increase his power at the expense of my people, my friends, my relatives, and friends I spoke against him. And then what? <laughs> and then he captured us one by one and bound our spirits and senses into these screaming faces under the ditch where all filth and sigil comes eventually. And then he let the polluted waters above flow through our mouths and noses and eyes. Is there anything I can do to help? I am cursed to remain here until fresh water passes my lips. There is a magical flask of water and the drowned nations. Bring it to me and give me a taste of it, and I shall tell you of someone who can help you unlock its full potential, and you shall never lack of water again. Where is this flask? Updated my journal. Updated my journal. We're supposed to drink every time we update our journal, so... I, but I... I have crystal light here, water, so... <laughs> it's technically not getting drunk, but whatever. I do not know. There was an artist named Chad who frequented these tunnels. He knew, find him, and he may tell you. And how do I get there? Through the dead nations where the dead walk and rule, or through the Warren's pot, where many as one hold sway. Neither is without its risk. So dead nations. The dead have achieved life in their own way. They rule a portion of these catacombs. They struggle with many as one for the heart of these tunnels. Tell me more about the catacombs. The catacombs were carved eons ago to house the dead of the city. We who do not wish the tender ministrations of the dustmen. They have become the refuse ground of the city where dwell Monsters barely seen where humans prowl like scavengers among the scavengers. Many as one patrol these tunnels and has turned many against their natures. The dead nations prowl as well, guarding against the depredations of the humans who come among them. What's this many as one? You have heard a cranium of cranium rats. When they gather, they become more powerful, a shared mind. They and their servants, where rats, seek mastery of these under tunnels. They war with the dead nation. Uh, other questions. Uh, nothing farewell. All right. So the faces are talking to us. Okay. What's up, Chief? Where do I want to go here? Probably finish out this hallway. What's the word? Okay. I tell you, cranium Bro. rats, I thought were easy because, you know, we, we found one and then we were like, ha! You know, and then we found another. It's like, ha! And then we found a pack and then it was... Hey, heroic. <laughs> I'm like, I'm scared of cranium rats now. One by themselves or two by themselves is just fine. Finding a pack of six, they're casting spells galore all over us. What's up? Okay. Body is twisted and bent, as if it would died in incredible pain. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am going to find out yeah. more and more for sure. That's for sure heroic. Good is done. Good is done. All right, so that goes down. Where does that go down? Mosaic Crypt. Live, the face in stone. Crypt of the Embrace to the Shattered Crypt. I mean, it's, it's neat that I know where all these doors go to, but... <laughs> Anyway, we're, we're, we're just going to finish exploring out this map before we go into any any nook or crevice or whatever. All right. All right. 
All right, the city. Good is done. Y'all up here. I'm running into any traps, right? <laughs> like, like we would. I. The only one that can detect traps is myself, and I have a 10% chance of detecting them. But uh, we're, we're pretty much going to run into traps when we run into traps. Oh my. Oh my. Come back. 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 It's a lot. Can I? What? Sneakly. Well, if one aggro's, all of them are aggro. All right, let's do a quick save. Sure, why not? Uh, how do I want to do this? I can always heal y'all with the uh, the blood drops while you're fighting. And there, I could probably use a pacify spell, but I'd rather use them on cranium rats. I will hear you. Okay. You have the best AC, Watch but you don't you. have the health. So I think I'm going to have more poke his face out. OK. OK. I don't know if all of them came. Oh, we got freaking lucky. Yeah. Can we do that again? What's the word, chief? OK. More. Go pull one at a time, please. I'm gone. What's up? Good is done. <laughs> okay, that's not one at a time, Mark. I'm gonna get hit. Get get I'm your gone. ass over here. Yeah. Balance in all things. Okay. Well handled. Perfect dice rolls, everyone. Huh? Okay. I think we got freaking lucky. Could have gone bad for us. One of y'all rolled a one, <laughs> but we're doing good, team. We're doing good. The less we get hit, the better. What? Sure, why not? A claw. What does that claw do? Uh, this is the foot of some large bird. More than likely, this was discarded by it from someone's dinner. OK. We can identify that later. Let's give that to you and then we'll identify that later. So that is now marked. Uh, wait, th these are not tunnels. No, it isn't. I'm All gone. Right. But it's not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dismemberment. Dismemberment. Memberment. Memberment. Where you get dismembered. I don't know if I want to go down there, but we're going to have to. Was there anything down here? No, just uh, please, please no more cranium rats. What's up, chief? Sure. Why not? It, just just not a pack of them. OK, I'll, I'll pull the one zombie. Let's slowly come this way. I'm gone. <laughs> it'll, it'll slowly come this way. Yeah. All right. Oh, we, uh, it tried to do something magical against us. Where is, uh, combat log? 
What, what, what did it try doing? Oh, it had magic resistance. Okay, my bad. Uh, do I... So we stabbed it, right? And this is magical. I guess, uh, oh yeah, piercing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We did something against the target. Um, okay. Why do I not have any tattoos on? Because I'm cheap and I don't buy them? Probably. <laughs> uh, the only thing we can change out of you is your teeth, right? Yeah. And then you have the tattoo of armor class, which I'm perfectly fine with. And you also have the number of Kuya Yin. Ku Yin. I believe that's Kuya. I don't know. Whatever. Protection from chaotic creatures. Well, I don't think cranium rats are chaotic. But I could be mistaken. <laughs> because they... Well... The spell is what hurt them, but the creatures themselves probably cannot. I didn't think of that. Advance D and D I'm rules. And uh, body must have been undead. The wounds have killed it for a long time after the flesh disappeared from the bones. This man was cut down with a blunted blade. He died. Ooh. He bled. I'm gonna poke this body here. The the dead man's neck still wreathes as if it was trying to twist itself off his body. E. E. What is this one? Dead nations. Okay, well, we do know we need to go down there. <laughs> What's the word? Sure, why not? Can you poke your head out there? Alright, go, go loot that. Hey, bandages. Embalming fluid. Bandages. Coins. I'll take the bandages and uh, what's the bombing do? Oh, yeah, that, it gives us uh, adds hit points and armor class. So uh, only usable by Mort or Nameless. Well, we're going to give it to Mort. OK. Um, what do y'all do again? Same thing. Same thing. For half an hour, huh? Okay, okay. All right. All right. What's up? It is I. Okay. You know there's something here. You know there is. Done. Good. Yeah, good is done. Oh, those are rare rats. Those are rare rats. Um, I think we got one. Maybe two. Now go. All right. Well, I tanked some damage. And I'm going to heal that over time. 
I'm just gonna stay over here. <laughs> Okay, more. Huh? Good is done. Go, go pull another where, where rat. Yep. What? Get the aggro. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure that's sufficient enough. I don't know if the skulls sell, but uh, we're, we're taking them. We're taking Your them. Will be done. What's up, Chief? Good is done. Is there, an, is there more rare rats in here? Good. Okay. At least they didn't have magical properties. This is a door. Oh, boy. No, it's to the Shattered Crypt. Okay. These shelves once held families with the depredations of the collectors. They now hold broken bones and dust. Okay, and this goes where? Warrens of Thought. Oh my gosh, that's going to be the... That's going to have so many little brain rats in there, the cranium rats. I am What's not word, looking Chief? forward to done. that. That's going to be painful. I think we can go to the Dead Nations first because um, let's look. Let's look at our journal screen here. So after speaking with Glive, situated in the Weeping Stone, he has asked me to fetch it a decanter of fresh water to release it uh, from its curse. So. And he mentioned going through the dead catacombs or uh, dead nations or something like that, right? So I guess that's where we're going to go first. And yeah. <laughs> Biconia has re-entered the chat. <laughs> hey, Gold, what's going on? Man, I love Iconia. I really do. Y'all know, y'all know she was my number one, but the game. There we are. Getting, getting, uh, getting me on my old thing. Done. Getting me on my old thing. She was num my number one girl. She. Did Nira and I kiss? Yeah, Nira and I kissed. So we made out. Viconia and I made out. And then she ditched me because. I was falsely accused of murdering someone. A dark elf. With her history. <laughs> but in our role play, she went from evil to good. I mean, it was a magic helmet, but I mean, it was perfect. It made perfect sense, right? That she would ditch me. Because of that. Because of, so yeah, for our role play. And then we were going to make her good, but that wasn't for a whole expansion later and it didn't make any sense. I mean, we couldn't keep her in the party. The game, the game design was flawed if you want to if you if you We could have, we could, I right, remember I told you, we could have shape shifted into that thing that lowers your, your fame or whatever it is, you know, by a couple notches. We could have kept her in the party by managing that and eventually get to that point and make her good. But it was my whole role play character's perspective not to shape shift into that ever again, if we can control it, right? So... That's we had to let go. So then Done. Jahira became became our became our life interest and yeah. So whenever I play Baldur's Gate 3, whenever that be, we will probably do a spawn of a, a son of of that union. 
but um, it would have been interesting to do a Viconia one. She she will always have a place a place in my heart for that. So. Speaking of, I need to get the magic card of Viconia and Jahira. I have uh, Minsk, but I don't have those. Where are we going? Dead Nations? Okay. I was kind of talking and healing at the same time, so... All right. All right. So this is going to be all undead, right? Right. We, we can handle undead. Cranium Rats, on the other hand... Why? Why are we going? I guess we're doing diplomacy first. Hagrim, the bleak, stop! They have come too far, traveler, and trespassed into the dead nation's realm of the Silent King. Will thou submit peacefully? What's the deal with Baldur's Gate 3? So many streamers playing it already, but it is just a demo or unfinished. Are you wait and play it to a certain point? Of yeah, see, I, I, don't, I don't get it either. I, I really don't. I really don't. Um, I'm not going to play a game that forces me to wait until it's finished because I'm going to forget. I'm human. I'm human. I'm going to forget what happened. I want the story to be together. So, uh, yeah, I, no, I, I don't need a quick notes version of, OK, what? Give me a recap. What happened? No, I want to have the same feelings. Maybe it's the maybe it's the diehard role player in me, right? I, I, I have to. I can't just get back into character again. I want to be that character and I want to play it and I want to play it all the way through the end. So I refuse to buy it until it's ready, you know, <laughs> or I could buy it and I, I, I refuse to play it until it's ready. So, but yeah, I, I'm with you on that goal. I'm with you. And I know not everyone is has the same opinion. Some people just want to play it and they have no problem getting back into it after. But I do. I do. I, I have to wait. So I'm not judging anyone that plays it. But yeah. I, I just can't do it. Wait, you are human? <laughs> I thought this was an AI stream with Trade's avatar. I want my money back. It is partly the role player in you, but it is that really all games. Yeah, I think only a small percent of hardcore people would play a pre-release demo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone's different, right? So, yeah, I, I, I have to wait. I have to wait. So that that's why I'm saying that, you know, everyone, whatever it floats are both, right? <laughs> but uh, I can't wait for it. And it should have been already out by now, even with COVID, with the setback. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it made you think. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Every time I see a tw Twitter Twitter message or an update, I'm like, is it out? No. OK, never mind. <laughs> Part of me dies over and over <laughs> until it's finally out. I mean, I know COVID set things back, but shouldn't it have already been out by now? I mean, COVID was years ago. So, I mean, it was 2020, right? And we're in 2023. So. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Submit to what? Tis the will of the Silent King that all who pass the gates into our nation become prisoners of his lands. Will thou submit? Then what I will play myself. Oh, well, hey, I appreciate that. One day, this is my my ultimate dream job when that happens. Yeah, game companies, Kickstarters, all will still stay because COVID. Yeah, these days. Well, yeah, I mean, it was three years ago. So you're telling me this game is going to be in development for another year and it's been three years after that? It's like. What were you doing? How close was this to being done? <laughs> it's not even close. Not even close. 
And that's why that's why I just refused to play it because I knew I knew it wasn't going to be ready in a year or even two. Games of that caliber and hopefully of the masterpiece they're creating, it's not going to be done in two years. It's going to be a few. So why play chapter one when there's going to be multiple chapters coming? Yeah, I don't know. Or at least I hope multiple chapters. It's going to be weird streaming it, though, when our character has romance relations. <laughs> because I saw little bits like, oh, those are poses of some sensitive situations behind closed doors or under the sheets. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, I saw, let's say the character dummies, you know, the little, there's no face or nothing. You just see the, yeah. And I'm like, you can tell what they're doing. And I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, how much are we going to show? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh... Or maybe they scrap it. it. Nothing is concrete. And that's the other thing that bothers me. Whatever you play may not be the final version. I want to play the final version. I just... All my bitching aside, I hope they make a great game. I hope they finish it soon. So... <laughs> Is it a cutscene or an in play? If it's in play, I guess you could. Just... Oh, yeah, I think it's a cutscene of the romantic interlude. <laughs> but apparently, uh, apparently they're they're adding some of that from what I saw. So imagining what that night could have been with Jihira, but I told her no. I said, let's wait. <laughs> And she was a woman that expressed her her feelings the next day, like, just know that I'm not happy with this decision you made. And see, and that is the healthy relationship right there. She's still with you, even though you, you made a decision that she would not have picked. <laughs> you thought you were, but the damn noble of your of yourself was like, let's let's hold. Let's not go into the throes of passion, but let's w let's do that after we have victory. <laughs> and they did, at least, yeah, because you know, but whatever. All right, am I submitting character check? I am playing a good character. I didn't come here to kill them, so yeah, come then. We shall show thee to the chapel. Know this, thou shall be free to wander these halls, but not to leave the catacomb. Thou shall be a prisoner here until thy death. Should thou later arise as we have, thou shall not be free. Praise the silent king, this will be done. All right, follow Updated that. my journal. Updated my journal. <laughs> Thanks for answering and feel free to get back to Planescape. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I, I go on tangents, as y'all know, so. Uh, but yes, I, it, for you to say you would be watching it more versus uh, than what you'll play yourself, I that that's that's a great compliment, and I appreciate that gold. Um, like I said, one of these days, I I had I hope to make streaming full time. I, I mean, it's full time now. It's just I'm not utilizing it because I'm also being a dad and a husband. But 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 um, when I say full time, I mean like this be the job instead of me searching for jobs. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So um, I would love for this to be the job. And so that y'all will see more of me during the day next week um, and uh, night because while I got the free time, might as well. And if I can get followers, get the followers. If I can turn this into something, then let's turn it into something. So 
So yeah, I'm gonna be putting more time and effort into this just because, just because I can. I got the time, let's do it. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can. Maybe the YouTube channel starts being monetized. I don't know. Go follow the food, uh, go, go subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Exclamation YouTube in chat for that, but yeah. Gotta get a thousand uh, subscribers. We already have the watch time. You gotta get a thousand subscribers. We're at 281. Magic has been really popular on that channel. But yeah, we already have the watch time. You gotta get a thousand and have 4,000 watch time minutes. We got people watching our channel. Just, it's not uh, enough subscribers. So yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, Cole. Thanks. If you got one as well, I'll, follow, I'll, I'll subscribe back. I mean, it'll tell me, but yeah. Uh, another member of the living. Most are slain by the ghouls this far into the catacombs. You are fortunate. So, who are you? I am Sogo. Fac Factotum of the Dustman? I am a missionary in these parts. He gives a half bow. Okay. Oh, okay. Got gotcha. you. If you subscribed uh, with that, it'll show up in my feed and I'll, I'll hit you back too. It only shows gold in your bio there. Okay, got you. <laughs> Missionary. Yeah, I came to this catacombs after hearing rumors of the undead that were aware in these parts. I hope to save them. Save them? Yes, passion ties them to this false life. I hope I can teach them to forsake these passions and leave this false life behind and reach the true death. Uh, what do you mean it's a false life? <laughs> These dead ones are so close to the true death, yet they cling to this life. This false life is the lie of existence on this plane. Oh, okay. So you want them to die. <laughs> yes, I wish them to transcend, divorce themselves from passion and can save them. Yeah, take a look around my channel. There are a few AD&D games, uh, vids, uh, but mostly of concert clips and dogs and cats. <laughs> well, uh, it's more, uh, it's, and it is monetized. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, uh, my YouTube channel was mostly just a memor memorandum of all of my Twitch videos. But ever since I started posting some magic guides, um, it just blew up. I mean, I was number one in Google for a while. That's why we were getting all that traction. I just need to make some more guides. Um, I was number one on Google for like, if you typed in uh, cold-blooded killers, a mono black deck. Uh, I'm not now, but I used to be for at least like two months. And that's how we started getting followers because they would look for those particular videos. Um, so yeah, once I start making guides again, I uh, started next week. I already got a deck in mind. But uh, anyway, uh, with that being said, I, I, I would like the channel to grow more. So um, I guess I need to make more magic videos because of the how the algorithm works. Uh, and the firefighter videos. That one has also brought in a lot of subscribers and I only did that on my birthday two years ago for but it's bringing in subscribers now so the the firefighter game that I played is bringing in subscribers and magic so there you go yeah you got to romance the algorithm so in order for it to grow I'm gonna do more of that content and probably start a different channel that's to memorialize the twitch <laughs> because and, and y'all and for people to join, it's like, why is he doing it? The memorialization is for when I'm dead and gone. It gives my kids something to watch a video of their dad and maybe sit, join or whatever. But it also for me to go back and be like, yeah, I remember playing that game. And yeah, that's that's what happened in that particular episode. And, you know, uh, so it's it's just for memorialization. That's all. So, yeah, I probably need to start a Trade Us a Grey archives for just straight up Twitch role replays. And then. But I. But it, it, it. My problem is, is that I still want my my YouTube channel to be a variety channel. So I. I don't know. I don't know.
Yeah, see, that's just it. I don't know how the algorithm works. I think I'm intimidated by it, Gold. I that's I want to throw everything into one channel, too. But I fear, and maybe this is my lack of knowledge of how the algorithm works, I fear that if I put up a video that doesn't get the attention it deserves, then it's not going to recommend me anymore when I put in another good video. You know what I mean? So put all the variety on one channel, just make a playlist of the magic and put it. Yeah, I, I, ha I have it there. I have it just like you said. But yeah, the algorithm, that that's what I'm worried about. Because if I, if I keep putting videos that people will come back to, it will start recommending me more. Otherwise, people are not going to find me. You know, that's what I'm worried about. So exactly, exactly. I that's that's what I'm worried about. So I need to keep. Yeah, I I, I think I think there is some truth to that. So. But I want to do what you you said, everything that my heart wants to do. But in order for me to get recognized and to grow, I have to push magic and things that people will keep coming back to. Right. So they're like as far as the Baldur's Gate videos go or putting this up, there's only two or three people that actually watch it. So but that's not enough, you know? And the people that are watching it, they're not interacting with it. They're not hitting the like. They're not hitting the comments. You know, they're not. So the algorithm goes, meh. You know what I mean? So. It, yeah, like I've been uploading stuff that has not been published because I want it to go somewhere. But then I thought, like, maybe start a separate channel just for that. But I don't know, man. I, I want to be a variety stream. I don't want to. I don't want to be just magic. You know, <laughs> could I make money doing just magic? Probably, but I don't. I don't want to be just magic. You know, so anyway. But I do have fun playing Magic: The Gathering, and it's a game that never gets stale because expansions are every two to three months. So there is some argument to it, but you know. Anyway. What this Twitch feed is concerned about, it's always going to be variety. So. Yeah, I don't I don't like the idea of multiple channels. So we'll see. You know, if I was, let's say, let's say you're Mr. Popular, right? You can you can put whatever you want on your YouTube. <laughs> but in order for me to get out there for the algorithm to actually start recommending my videos, I got to stick to one thing for right now, I think. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I, I know I know some streamers have different um, YouTube channels, but how it all works, I don't know. So, but yeah, I like I, I know one for right now that does magic that has more than one account because they have different gameplays. They have one for constructed and one for like bronze to mythic. You already know who I'm talking about if once I say that. So. You'll be here on and off as usual over the years. I usually uh, load you if you're doing. Ah, there you go. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, and yeah, and that's the other thing, Gold. You, you hit the nail right on the coffin there. There's always going to be people. The thing with being a variety streamer, there's always going to be people that love the kind of content you're doing, but not all the games. And I, that's why I want to be a variety person, because I, I don't want to just play one game. But there's certain types of games that I, I cater, I tend to play more than usual, and that's role-playing games I, I tend to get into more often than, say, shooter games, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gold. Thanks. 
We we gotta do we gotta do a, a live D and D session at some point. Um, I I'm really really wanting to nerd out with some people, and I I, I tried to do that with some friends online, but they were not into the role playing thing that I had really hoped that they would do. It was more of just a you know goof off, have fun kind of thing, and uh, I'm more into the role play aspect of it you know so um so i'm definitely looking for a role play group out there inspired to do live dnd with you and show you this website to play on roll 20 yeah i i have a roll 20 account i did that with my, with my tabletop group that um during covid but yeah 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 you you did you did uh um I just I just haven't done it because I want to find more people. And w once I get that group, then then we'll we'll do it because I, I want it to be like a show, like like when you tune into Critical Role, um, you're seeing a show produced, you know, um, I, I don't want it to be everyone drinking and goofing off, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do that. We'll connect through Discord. So that's a that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want it. I want it to be. It doesn't have to be a show 100 percent, but. I want people to tune into something and relax and watch. Yeah, we could do an introductory one shot for sure. And then we can see who who's committed to going full character mode and who's not, you know, that kind of thing. Because <laughs> when I play, when I play D&D &D at the table, I'm in character. <laughs> it's just a chance to be something different, right? So, yeah, and that's the whole fun of it, yeah. But I, I wouldn't say I'm all the way. I still have my out of character moments, you know. I mean, that's the funny. That's the fun part. All right. For for example, um, I know we're on big tangent here, but for example, I was role playing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine too. That's fine too, Gold. Um, I was in this group that was heavy role play. All right, it was heavy role play. And I was playing, um, it's Arcanus. I, I know there's different D and D modules out there, but this one was Arcanus. And the group that I was in, um, yes, it's heavy role play, and they 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 expect more story and whatnot, and kind of that's how you get into it. But there was this. Um, I was playing a fighter character, and who had um, I was kind of like the field medic of the group, right? And there was a big medicine check that I had to pass because we're there's this dead body in front of us that's being on display because it's kind of like a funeral. And uh, we're, we have to figure out we were summoned here and we have to figure out how this person died. And this is a good chance for me to figure that out while the characters are being distracted by the party <laughs> so i'm a lizard man fighter all in this chain mail whatever so just to kind of give you an idea but i'm about to perform a medicine roll it was the first one i have ever rolled on in the tabletop okay and i have inspiration all right i have an inspiration where i can re-roll and this is critical but it's just but Despite that, I, I make my roll, and the DM can't see it, okay? <laughs> because it's, I have this little dice little thing. And, and, and one person next to me does big eyes, and before the rest of the table can figure out what has happened, I, I, I you know, the, the character that is being distracted, the noble, the DM already said that 
you know, I, I can smell his cologne, right? Well, I take that knowledge and I and, and then I embrace the natural one. <laughs> I I said as I'm examining the body, the cologne is so heavy. <laughs> just sneeze all over the chorus and I and I act this out <laughs> and the DM looks at me like what are you doing <laughs> you know like now they have to replot this entire campaign off of how we're gonna figure out to, to advance <laughs> you know because I decide to embrace, and you know, and I look at the DM and I said, I rolled a one. I'm embracing it. <laughs> he just, <laughs> the whole table just cracks open with laughter because they're, they're, they're like, they, they don't know what's going on. And I said, I rolled a one. I'm embracing it. <laughs> so. So yeah, you know, as the character, the noble is struck like, what is going on? What are you doing? You're desecrating. And as I'm talking, I'm like, well, the, but, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, you collided, so I got that too! <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's my lizard voice that I had for him. I'm, I'm, I'm talking in... I'm the only one doing a voice for a character at the table too. Everyone's talking them natural selves and everything. <laughs> My name is Visk. <laughs> it's like, uh, but I, I'm in I'm in character the whole time, and so yeah, you can imagine. I I had, I'll never forget that. But it, it's the fun. It's the fun, you know. But uh, yeah, I I love my lizard man voice. I really do. So. Hmm, I had a drop frame there, just for a second. Well, actually, it says zero, but it said I'm reconnecting to the chat room. Maybe it was just an internet drop. Hmm. It's weird. It's very weird. Anyway, I'll get back to it. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun with that, with that game. Oh no, I, I don't use a vo voice modulator. Um, I talk like this, and you know, I uh, I uh, I can do all kinds of voices. I uh, this, you know, with my S's, I uh, put a lisp, and uh, this is where I go with my lizard voice. You know, but I, it's hard for me to do voices when I have a headset on because I need to hear how they're doing as I'm making it, and I adjust it. Um, and I adjust it through that. So it's hard to do D&D tabletop online with this on. I'll, I'll need to um, figure out a different way. So um, because, yeah, the voices are very hard to do if I can't hear them. But um, hopefully I did it right. I, I, I could only hear it a little bit. But it, it's, yeah, it's, you know, you can imagine I had my little miniature. It's the first miniature I ever painted. It's on the D&D &D channel of my Discord. Um, but Visk was uh, my lizard man fighter, except it's not a lizard. I mean, it's lizard-like. In Artanis, they're called something else, but I forgot what it is. But anyway. Ah, uh, that's true. It, it, it'll be hard to figure out, but yeah, I, I need to be able to hear myself. Uh, that's the biggest problem with doing voices online. I, I can take this off and do it better, but um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I've always been able to do weird things with my like I could do orcs, goblins, trolls from Warcraft easily i can do the dumb human like when we play warcraft online i mean when i when i play warcraft one and two which i'm planning on doing one night like going straight through you, you'll hear me do it just like them too yeah 
Oh, over your eyeglasses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these these don't clip my eyeglasses. Um, well, I, actually, they are, but it it's these are very comfortable, and I don't know. These are HyperX, whatever these are. So yeah. But yeah, they, these are very. But these, these have the uh, the open like foam here, and these I can wear hours. If it if it was hard, I wouldn't be able to do it. So yeah, they I have to have it on my ear, just right. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> quite the tangent there, but yeah. But I, I'm happy to I'm happy to to discuss my nerdiness with someone else so yeah <laughs> my geekiness so but no gold i i appreciate you and i definitely want to play with you in the future um i haven't forgotten about that um sadly that was supposed to happen a long time ago but things just haven't gone my way and 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 like like i said now that i have all this extra time i've kind of recentered myself and i'm like what's 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 important? So family is important. I would love to make something out of the stream, out of the YouTube channel. And while I have the time to be picky in this job market, picky meaning we're OK, we're OK. Uh, we're OK with me not having a job right now. So while I have the time, I'm going to put forth the energy and everything into the Twitch, into YouTube and see if I can't turn it into something in the next five or six months. Otherwise, yeah, we'll probably I'll probably have to get back to the job market. And um, of course, I'm still applying for things. But like I said, I can I can afford to be picky right now. So but um, but yeah, I with that, you'll see me more during the day, also at night and, you know, without sacrificing husband, family life and all of that, too, because I'm still keeping that important. But the kids are in school right now. So why not? <laughs> why not you know get on during the day more and all that stuff so yeah you'll see me more but, um we don't need to ask that this uh i guess i could s why have i been made prisoner here i do not know ask some of the city and citizens here okay where am i you are in the catacombs of the dead nations the guards brought you here okay that's all a moment, a moment of your time before you go. Do not attack any of the undead here in the catacombs. They will not harm you so as long as you remain peaceful. Should you prove hostile, they, they will defend themselves, and there are many of them. Lastly, you may return here if you need to rest. Oh, can we rest now? Updated my journal. Of course, you should be safe in this journal, in this chamber while you rest. So I think eventually I have to talk my way out of the of this to get back to the living. Hmm. Thanks. 16 hours. Updated my journal Trader for GG. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gold. Thank you so much for that subscription. All right, so we, we are fully rested. I thought we were gonna have to... So I could have used spells up above. I'm so like, I didn't want to use my spells. I could only use one or two of them, you know? I, I, if I'd known we were gonna come to a resting point, I guess I just need to... I guess I just need to use them. Why sit there and fight with a knife all the time? Just freaking use them, Trey. All right, what is this? What do we got in here? All right. What is this? It's, this slab is used as a bed. There looks to be a portion on its side that can be pried open. Uh, quick save. <laughs> I mean, if, if I open it, it kills us all. We At least I got the quick save, right? So. You're not going to be able to pry it into things while he's around. You'll need to find some way to or look. Oh, 
I didn't know this was his things. But I guess it makes sense because we're in his room. So yeah, I probably shouldn't be messing around with that. He rarely gives off, barely gives off life, much less heat. Oh, yes. Uh, you are my, you hold all the bandages. Speaking of. We'll take those any day. Being able to just, you know, heal ourselves by, you know, pausing real quick and healing. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's let's explore. How big is this map? Uh, it's a little big. This is where we came in at. And we can't leave. They won't let us leave. The prisoner. Hopefully that's not considered stealing, even though it's just trash that's out here, right? Container is locked. Can I brunt it open? I do have a spell knock. I can knock it open, but. Uh... I had a crowbar once. Failed. Failed. Opened. <laughs> what? Dakon? I hear you. Your path is mine. Oh. Battle axe of quality. Don't mind if I do. These are probably just sell for chump change, but the quality one. Okay. Can you. Bash that one opened. Up. Opened. Nice. Junk. All right, never mind. Can you bash this one open? I know it's locked. I cannot force this. You cannot. Do it again. Opened. Yeah, you just got to believe hard, harder. Ha! I, I mean, wh why was this stuff locked? I mean, th it's just junk, right? Why? Why? I mean, they're dead. What are they going to do with 500 commons? Done. So maybe I'm not the goody goody two shoes in this one, but we don't have to be goody goody good two shoes in this. One. We're 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 immortal, but we the, the commons is good stuff. Cues, huh? Exceptionally uncomfortable. Old wood slowly falling apart and the damp air of the catacomb. All right, what is this? Ooh. Can I learn this? Yeah, but why? Well, I guess it is a way for me to heal people. By sending my own life force to them, and then I can heal it over time. All right, first try. It's already in the spell book. Okay, never mind. Um, and you already have this in your spell book, right? So where's Bloodbridge? L M. G. What? I didn't pay attention to any of this. What? I got a slot available. Maybe that's what I was doing before we logged off that one time. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we got spells, people, and we don't even, we didn't even know about it. That's how long it's been since I played this game. Um, this does two to eight hit points of acid damage, uh, inflicting another time. That's pretty good. Bloodbridge, blur. Hora. 
Um, all undead creatures within 30 foot radius of flea. Eh, it's all right. We, we got uh, pacify, so uh, ice knife does two to eight. And then it sends a wave of numb and cold. They may make a saving throw versus paralyzation or suffer one to four points of cold damage and have a minus two penalty to their attack rolls. Hmm. Okay. Luck. Bonus to the target's luck. Strength. And swarm curse. No one could cast a spell while I'm in the storm. All right. Learn that puppy. <laughs> And we definitely need that. I mean, I don't mind having a knock every now and then for magic stuff, but uh, we definitely need that. Wish I had more spell slots. And I don't I don't know levels three or four. All right. So you have spells. Okay, do you have spells? No. I'm almost tempted just to go rest again, just so I can have that. But no, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that, right? I'm gone. Gone. All right. No named people here, just ghouls and skeletons. Probably can't break this open in front of them. Probably not a good thing. I'm gonna imagine. All right, talk to the skeleton. There is no meat left on the bones of this ancient animated corpse. Only a few colored rags, which seem to serve more as a decoration of clothing. Greetings. And greetings to thee. The thing's calm, faraway voice echoes from within its skull, expelled with a cloud of dust. I had some questions. I shall answer what I can. Dust falls from the joints of the skeleton's jaws as it speaks. Ask what thou will. I've more than enough time to speak with thee. <laughs> okay. Why am I why am I a prisoner? He touches his chin, tilting its skull slightly upwards. The ghouls are permitted to feast upon all those found robbing the catacombs. The silent king felt it would be best to let other intruders, those caught wandering and made prisoners, such as thyself, languish here to lapse into our care, rather than be devoured by the ghouls. Though thou may wish to ask Hagram, our high priest, it is he who speaks to the Silent King. So yeah, what is, uh, tell me about Hagram, or Hargrim, Hargrim, I should say, Hargrim. Our high priest, it is he who speaks to the Silent King, giving us our Lord's word and law. He is here in the antechamber of the Silent King's throne room. Okay, what is the Silent King? I forgot I could use the numbers on the side, too, here. Our Lord and Master, he is called the Silent King because he speaks only in times of dire need. The skeleton gestic gesticulates as it speaks, old joints creaking and popping as it does so. As Hargrim. Okay. Who else inhabits this place? This place is a place of the undead ruled by our Silent King. There are zombies here as well as ghouls. Farther away in catacombs to the east live cranium rats. Also on occasion, once one of the living, such as thyself or Sogo, pitches down here. Okay. Uh, tell me of your kind. Uh, we are the oldest of the undead here, the most free of flesh. We make an effort to serve as guides and mentors to the others, maintaining a healthy community. Okay. Tell me of the other undead. The zombies. Strong but slow of mind and body, they have retained more of their humanity, their emotions, than we. They serve our community as workers, laborers, and under the guidance of the Stale Mary, the most caring and intelligent of them. So who is Stale Mary? She is slow but caring and wise. She acts as a mother of sorts to the other zombies. She may be found in the chamber west of here. 
uh, west of where thou first entered the dead nations. Okay. Uh, let me ask about someone else. Um, other questions. Uh, the cranium rats. Vermin, whose intelligence increases according to their proximity with others of their own kind. A serious threat. At one time, they raided our charges, disturbing the bones of the silent ones. Now they keep to the easternmost portion portions of the catacombs. The ghouls caught and ate enough of them to put an end to their pillaging, if only temporarily. Hmm. Charges. The silent ones, the dead who do not but sleep. We protect them, watch over them as they rest. Hmm. Who would disturb them? Many. He ticks them off on yellow, dust-covered finger bones as he speak. Hungry, unco con hungry, uncontrolled ghouls, rats, and most of all, the living. Those from the buried village, servants of a man named Farid, often descend into the vaults of the dead nations, disturbing the silent ones. I do not know why, nor do I care. My only concern is that we stop their foul laboring. Oh, so we figured this is going to be... That should have been an updated journal. Um... Let me ask if... Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere here? Hmm. Uh, no, I have not. Perhaps they shall speak to Hargrim. Okay. Well, I think we got a little bit of knowledge there. Something tells me we're going to make a deal about how Farid does business down here. Let's talk to the zombie if we can. Greetings. <laughs> With each exhalation. <laughs> The stitch of Roddy. Okay, I had some questions. <laughs> the zombie makes a series of intelligible moans. You can't make out anything he's saying. Okay, <laughs> we tried. How about the ghouls? Do they speak? This drooling, yellow-eyed ghoul reeks of blood and carrion. It picks at the crooked fangs with the long, filthy talons, constantly snuffling the air around it. His flesh has turned a sickly green color and is covered in rot and weeping sores. Uh, don't know if you want to be talking to that thing, so why not, Morty? They were once humans. They are, uh, they or their ancestors feasted on corpses. And this is what they've become. Pretty nasty stuff, Chief. They're a little more than animals, really. Dangerous animals. All right, let's go. <laughs> so ghouls, huh? Can I open this? It's locked. And that one's locked. Pretty sure we can't just... Hmm. All right. Can I talk to this skeleton? And greetings. Some questions. And it's the same stuff as before. I'll just ask him. Okay. Daggers. And some rocks. Nameless zombie. Hmm. A doubtful skeleton. Junk. Perhaps hmm, a puzzled skeleton. What is this? Ooh, take that. Nameless zombie. The rotting female corpse is shaking her head and moaning sadly as you approach. However, she turns and hold her, <clears throat> holds her hands out to you as if asking for aid. The zombie moans softly in reply. With each. Okay, yeah, there's some. You can't make it out. Hmm. 
I need to learn how to talk zombie. These are all locked, like they say. Huh. I'm... I am pretty sure we can't... Balance just open these willingly, but for science, I just want to see. I mean, they don't seem to care. <laughs> Am I just getting lucky? Pretty sure that can't do this. Yes, I know it's locked. I should open. Open. Ding ding. What's your, um, what is your, uh, lawful neutral? But he really wouldn't be opening these. But I've convinced him to do so. All right. Like, they're, they're, they're dead. They don't know how to use this stuff. That's what I told him. Basically. <laughs> Done. Failed. Failed. Do it again. Failed. Okay, yeah, we, we suck at opening things. It is I. The con, will you please? Your path is mine. Opened. And see, he doesn't have to actually Done. loot it. Okay, let's divvy out who's got the bone charms. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's you. So this will go to you. Um, we're going to hold on. To, who's got charcoal? This is against magic. Pretty sure I'm going to keep that because, yeah. Um, the cell stuff, we'll give it to you. All right, a little bit of inventory management, but we're, we're good. What's up? I hear your words. We have not talked to the puzzle skeleton yet, so let's do that. It's muttering to itself, occasionally pausing to scratch its skull. It is old enough so that no meat is left on its bones. Only a few colored rags. Greetings. It nods a greeting in return, but does not reply to you. I had some questions. It looks at you and grunts in frustration. Not now. Forgive me, but I have the most horrid riddle on my mind and I can't puzzle it out. What's the riddle? It seems surprised. Oh, going to give it a try, art thou? Yeah, go ahead. Very well. This is from a chortling buffoon on a bone bag that I may well find nearby. It refuses to give me the answer, and it's killing me. Go on. Think of words which end in gry, angry, and hungry are two of them. There are but three words in the common tongue. What is the third word? The word is something that one uses every day. If thou listened carefully, I have already told thee what it is. Thank you. What? Oh, yes. I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich here. <laughs> Lady Grey is taking care of me. Um, of course you, of course you have its tongue. Words which in and gry.
There are but three words in the common tongue. What is the third word? I was gonna say, so the the first think of words which in oh angry and hungry. There are but three words in the common tongue. What is the third word? The word is something that one uses every day. If thou listen carefully, yeah, okay. So the first two sentences are unrelated, only there to trick you. Remember, there are three words in the common tongue. Oh my gosh. The third word is tongue. Laugh and walk away. <laughs> that that's oh a devious trick. Why I have no tongue either. It stops then laughs, dust billowing from its creaking jaws. That's good. All right, I thank thee. Of course, farewell. Well, we got six thousand experience just by doing that. All right, we got a merchant. We could sell stuff too. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah. more. Can you go back up to here. Good as done. And grab those axes. Pretty sure they sell for pennies, but uh, it doesn't hurt, especially since we got a merchant. Alright, so he's on his way back. I will hear you. Um can you bash that I open? Shall opened. I'm gone. Uh to come your will be you need done. To move out of the way. I'm gone. It was rocks. I'm gone. Nothing but rocks. Is this his stuff here? It's got to be his stuff, right? I mean, it, it looks like it's just a trash barrel. I'm gone. I'm just curious. You are a, you see a skeleton bouncing from the ball of one foot to another. Air whistles from beneath its teeth. It looks very, very bored. At your approach, its demeanor changes entirely. Welcome, welcome. I've got a host of items for your perusal, fresh from the latest Burks who've been trying to loot the quiet ones. Would you like to see them? Yeah, well, actually, some questions first. Its size. Look, I know I've got eternity to stand around and gossip until the comes, cows come home, but the truth is, I don't like dealing with the living, all right? I take this stuff from the living before they die and I sell it to the other debtors. So if it's all the same to you, I'd rather just conclude the transaction and go home, all right? So, you want to see what I have? Fine, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, leave me alone. All right. <sighs> we could definitely use some more bandages. Um... Uh... I want to buy 20. So we'll buy 20. What is needle and thread? The heels. Um, seeing if they have anything worthy of. How long does this last? For a minute or two, okay. Um, what does this do? So these tears can burn even the most armored of foes. Okay. Any single target within range, then a stream of small meteors rain down to strike the target and surround an area. One meter for each level of experience up to a maximum of 10. Each missile that hits inflicts one to two points of blunt damage and one to four fire. 
anyone within three feet of the target takes one point. Okay. It's a nice AOE uh, spell. Hmm. Okay. So I can sell the cranium rat tails, but I feel like they there was a quest that I needed to turn them in for for that anyway. Um, scroll of armor. Do I not need that scroll? Hold up. I didn't even buy my bandages, but yeah, let's let's do a quick inventory check here. Let me make sure. So why am I holding on to this? Just in case I get another mage that can use it. I think so. So if you're going to hold on to it. We're going to sell these axes. So I'm just going to put them on me. You're holding on to the tails? OK, good. We can get these identified. Sell this, sell that, have junk, which I don't think he's going to sell. We're just going to drop the junk. Why am I carrying junk? All right. All right, so these get identified. Th those get sold. These we're holding on to. Oh, you're holding tails. I'll be. You can hold all the tails in. That's fine. Um. We're going to see about selling all of this. Do I have room to hold all that? I think I have one, two, three, four, five. You know, this crowbar, pry bar. I'm going to put it back on to me uh, once I make inventory room. Um, not use item. Oh, that's right, because uh, I'm a mage now. That's why. <laughs> okay. Are you going to answer any of my questions? No. I'd rather stare at the wall, frankly. <laughs> All right. Um... I can't. Why uh, can't um, I buy some? Huh. All right, well, we'll sell stuff first. I knew it was just going to be pennies, but yeah, it's good to get rid of it. And we might as well get rid of these skulls. Or maybe they will go... Oh yeah, it's because I didn't have the inventory space. Can you identify? Doesn't look like you will identify. I can, I can identify and rest and then identify and relearn spells. Um, I, I feel like 20 more bandages should definitely, since we're using them, Especially when we go into the, uh, the cranium rat area. All right. The con is going to hold all of our bandages for us. Just because. Uh, and 85 is well, well, en well enough. Well enough. Mm, okay, you're good. 
you can hold on to these because you got the extra weight you can. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to want to use those for something. Maybe it's trash. So if I need inventory room, we ditch them, right? We'll ditch them if that's going to be the case. Okay, you're good. Identify. Okay, we're going to have to learn a spell. I mean, I have the spell. I'm re we're going to have to put it in our spell book. We'll do that right before we sleep. Let's finish exploring this out and talking to other people that we need to talk to. I'm gone. We could have just come around here. I think. Let's talk to the doubtful skeleton next. There is no meat left on the bones of this ancient animated corpse, only a few colored rags, which seem to serve more as decoration than clothing. It is staring at the floor, shaking its head and tapping its chin thoughtfully. So greetings. It makes no response, apparently lost in thought. Greetings again. It looks up, seeing you, sighs with a small puff of dust. I have much on my mind. It would prefer to be left alone. Can I help you with something? No, I have a diff difficult decision to make, tis all. What decision is that? Updated my journal. To continue my life here or to die. To finally pass into the true death I've been told of. Hmm. Let's talk about the true death with them. A complete absence of passion. The true death is a true life beyond this shadow of ex ex existence. It is said that we must reach this place to free ourselves. I see no reason why you should give up your life. I shall take their words into consideration. Now I ask you to leave me into my thoughts. Farewell. All right. So my journal was updated. Hmm. Riddling skeleton. Okay. Ooh. Soon. Okay. All right. Villain. Running, ruining my fun. Damn thee to Beatar. I would spit at thee had I any. Hmm. Oh, because we we gave him the answer. <laughs> so he doesn't like us. Uh, yeah. All right. The blighted ones will be freed. OK, what are you? What are you clamoring about? The rot stink of this ancient looking ghoul woman is nauseating, even from a distance. Her gray green skin is infested with tomb rot and festering sores, and her fingers, each capped by a long curved talon, are covered in dried blood and filth. Her hair, thick with scuttling insects and worms, hangs to her knees. It hides nearly all of her face in shadow, save for a fanged feral grin and a lolling gray tongue. Kiss, what have we here? Some pretty meat eye, a little tough gristle. Sharpen me teeth on your bone and grow fat on your marrow. Hmm. I had some questions. Who are ye to come before me like a feast? Answer a cast. I have no name. Then neither does a cast. I call you Blooded One. Pray ye still have name and a will before I tear you apart. Bloodied One? Meet people to eat. Her yellow eyes peer intently at you through her ragged white hair. Ye. Other questions. Go, pastor, a cast while you still live. Meet, ask. <laughs> hmm. What are you doing here? I think is a good place. We fight, win, and feed. Bloodied ones such as ye become our food in the end. Ravenous hungers we have. Burn the stomach, never fool. We hunger all the time, and here you are. Hurry up and d die and be still. Bloodied ones? Oh, yeah. 
Meet people to eat. Yeah, okay, yeah. Other questions? Six. A cast opens many coffin, many tombs, never seen such a thing. Other questions? <laughs> Uh, do you know why I've been made a prisoner? Because we didn't catch you in the dark halls where you'd have been a meal to us. Damn the Silent King. Damn his old bones. Meat caught here by the others stays here until it joins the others. Hmm. That's all I wish to know, I guess. All right. Pretty sure we can't just walk out. Knifed ghoul. Is that like a guard? The ghoul's face has a great gash across it and one of its eyes has been destroyed entirely. Despite the relative freshness of the womb, it seems to cause a foul-smelling creature no pain or discomfort. You notice a grimy enough tucked into the waistband. The letters... Yep, that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna... Ch Greetings. Uh, could I have that knife tucked in your belt? Finally, it looks up and gives you a sly, toothy grin. Meat want knife? Meat make trade, yes. How about these rat tails? Okay. Did we lose all of our rat tails? No, but we, we gave a few of them away. I, I'm glad we didn't sell them. I'm glad we didn't sell them. Look at that. Look at that. So we got one of our quests uh, updated. So we did find the knife. Now we just need to return it. So. So yeah, we know where he's getting the bodies from. He's picking them up from this tomb. I'm gone. So this is the high court here, I guess, of the... Iron hinged lid that opens into a small coffin area. Royal Guards. Hmm. I'm just going to try the door. I'm pretty sure we can't. It's locked, okay. That's locked. And Hargrim should be in here, I guess? No, it's Stale Mary. So have I the chapel? Hmm. Stale Mary it is. This must smelling female zombie looks exceptionally old, almost mummified. Her skin has the appearance of moldering gray green leather and one of her eyes has fallen out leaving a dark pit in her face her voice is slow and thick G -g greetings she indicates herself and speaks again so 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 stole merely it sounds as if her vocal cords are festering away in some soupy mess at the base of her throat so stale mary i had some questions how is it you speak to these other zombies? I cannot understand them as can you. Ah. 
let her touch you. Her nearly fleshless hand brushes gently against your forearm and she speaks. Listen, so now I'm a... How did you do that? No, wait, how is it that I can understand you? Speak to us, you can, but you must do it properly. Can you teach me? Yes, please do that. Updated my journal. Nice. <laughs> uh, she finishes teaching you skills required to speak with the dead. A process she calls stories bones tell. Can I talk to any dead body? Some others too dead must use skill. Thanks. I had some questions. Uh, do you know why I'm a prisoner? Mm, ask Hargrim. OK, other questions. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, guide other zombies, care for quiet ones. Uh, other... Qu oh, wait, quiet ones. The true dead. Okay. What about the other zombies? Uh, do work of Silent King. What sort of work? Uh, rebuild which was broken, care for the true dead. Okay. Tell me about the Silent King. Silent King. Yeah, uh, what can you tell me of him? Silent King. <laughs> what do you know of him? Silent King. Tell me, tell me other questions. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Uh, no, who would have? Uh, let me ask you someone in particular. Oh, number six. No, sorry. Other questions. Someone in particular. What about Hargrim? Skeleton's leader gives us a word of the Silent King concern worried. Why is he concerned? Sogo, a cast. Why is he worried about Sogo? He preaches death. Yeah. It wants us to die. Updated my journal. He dust man. Okay. Why is Hargrim worried about a cast? Anger. Uh, they want to kill everyone. Why do they want to kill everyone? Hungry. Angry. Okay. I think that's all I need to know. I feel for... stronger. Ooh, I got to level up. <laughs> I feel stronger. Nice. Okay. Um, Level up. I get one hit point and uh, one hit point. And I get uh, the spell memorization abilities have increased. Except. OK. And then my spell book. I can do level three spells, but I don't have any level three spells. I did not get an extra spell slot here, but I did get an extra one there. Um, I do need to learn identify and we are probably we need to identify one more thing. So. Take away. This and add another identify in and then we, we're, we're going to need to rest. So where is Hargrim again? Oh, let's talk to the skeleton. Um. Five, two. In the antechamber of the Silent Kring's throne room. Hmm. So in here, I, I must have just not seen him. I just want to see where he's at. I, we're going to rest before we talk to him. Because we can. Where? Oh, does this go back? I didn't I don't see him here. Can I talk to the guard? Uh, wears ornate bronze armor with a lap as you approach it. It looks down at you briefly, then away again. Greetings, living. 
I stand here as a royal guard of his lord and majesty, the Silent King. I must ask that you do not distract me. <laughs> Can you tell me who you were or were? I am in death as I was in life. One of 99 sons of the Western Mountains, fathered when the member of Amarhar was severed and cast down upon the face of Ethier. Honor bound to defend our queen, we were lost to this world when ours, and our lady with it, was destroyed by the angry godling, a brother to Amahar. Many of our number roamed with the, the plains, but some, like myself, chose to remain in Sidwell. When I passed away, I was interred here, and later awoke in the state you find me in now. I then choose, chose a new master, the Silent King, to defend. I see. Farewell. What about this one? Uh, greetings. Oh, same thing. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we can't go in there. Dumb. This, you will need a key. Okay. Yeah, I don't see Hargrim in there, but maybe after we rest, he'll appear. Uh, had some questions. Uh, how did you come to be here? Winter catacombs, hunt, kill, crack open, crip, cough, and eat bones, dead flesh. Come here. Here, strange place. Stay among the weak, marrow filled bones and herd of dead flesh. Can make noise, talk to them, and they talk back. So why have you not killed and eaten these undead, then? Not easy prey. They are still not like other bones and dead flesh are. They fight as pack, and many of them difficult to beat. Both wicker separate, together strong. Almost strong as a cast, so we wait. What do you do while you wait, then? We say we fight for them, kill bloodied ones when they have to take from us. Okay. They hunt the rats, kill them, eat them, leave the bits... Say no one come here or we eat you. They make us protect here only. Okay. That's all I... She hisses, bearing sharp bloody teeth. Hate them. We want to eat bloodied ones. Hungry you are. Kill all of them. Okay. Bloodied rats. Go squeak squeak. Run into the dark small tunnels when chase. Hard to catch. Warm flesh, easy crunch, and teeth. Many of them elsewhere. We go to kill them and eat them. All right. Mm, how about Argrim? Mm, kill him. Kill all the bones. Hmm. So is Hargrim in this one? Oh, there he is. Hargrim, the bleak. Okay, so he is wandering around. All right. I think we need to rest and identify the stuff we have. Why am I not going? Oh, I got stopped. Weird. Uh, if I want to rest, do I just talk? Sogo? We need to rest. Okay, so let's identify the stuff we have. This is a shamanic rod. It invokes magic missile. Cool. Um, this is for whatever reason someone has enchanted it, making it capable of casting the spell magic missile for a limited number of times. Ten times. Nice. Um,
Oh, I've identified it. And I identified the bone dagger too. Nice. Or I, I, I guess I auto identified it when I became a level four, maybe. Hmm. I'm going to give that to Mort to hold on. Maybe when we get a thief, they can use the, uh, the dagger. OK, OK. So now I want to redo my spells here. How about we add that magic missile back? And maybe not identify, maybe don't keep identify. I think I want more offense. Yeah, I think I want more offense. Remove. And we'll go ahead and rest again. Yeah, the skeleton that seems to think, um, oh, I will go speak with them right now. Farewell. I'm gone. I don't know if that was a good thing, but. Argrim. The skeleton wears what appear to be ancient priest robes, heavy and ornate. It carries a large, impressive staff, which is capped with intricately carved horns, dangling pendants, and a gilded skull. Greetings. <clears throat> the skeleton, its eyes aglow like two burning embers, looks at you over, but makes no reply. Are you the Silent King? No, I'm just gonna... Are you... Hargrim? It nods solemnly, the pendant suspended from its staff, tickling softly. There is something disquieting about its silent, piercing gaze. I, I had some questions. It motions for you to proceed. Um... Have you seen something? It shakes its head. I have seen no such thing. Why dost thou seek the object? Uh... For a man named Farid. It looks up in a way as if peering at the surface, blood still beats in his black, worm-ridden heart. That wheezing sack of flesh still sends his pack into our homes to raid and pillage. It faces you once more. Thou were wrong to come here. We tolerate nuts so with our borders. But I'm not of his pack, yeah. Why, why then are you thou here, invading our homes on a fetch and carry for that miserable soul? Um, I'm fine. Yeah, for there is no other loyalty. I'm finding this fear for him in return for information I need. It looks you over carefully, tapping its chin with a bony finger. Click, click, click. You do not seem the sort to follow such a man. Perhaps you speak the tra truth. Perhaps your presence here is tolerable. Good. I have other questions. Um. Hmm. Let me ask you someone in particular. What about Sogo? He tries to convince us to give up the pretense of life, as he calls it, and pass into the true death. He claims that it is our passions that anchored us to this life, and we let go of them in our duty. He wants us to die, so go Updated on. Updated my journal. Some listen to his words, but none have chosen to surrender themselves to his beliefs. Thou, those that did would be forever silenced. Our numbers would dwindle, and all that we have here would be destroyed by what surround us. Sogo may believe he's doing right, but is, in truth, causing great harm. So why do you allow him to stay? Uh, we cannot force him to leave. He knows we cannot harm him. The dead truce. No undead may injure a dustman unless first attacked. Also, the Silent King wishes no slaughter in these halls. Okay, let me ask you of someone else. How about a cast? She is a matriarch of the ghoul pack that has come to our halls. She is strong and extremely cunning. 
Hmm. What about the ghouls? I do not trust them or their matriarch. They watch us with hungry eyes and would doubtless devour us all if our numbers and the word of the Silent King were not a shield against them. It pauses his thinking. Yeah, go on, go on. Updated my journal. They are forever ravenous without us holding them in check. They would run rampant in the buried village and the warrens of the cranium rats, killing all, then return to devour all that is here. Okay. Who else inhabits this place? Mm, we skeletons, other undead, zombies and ghouls. There were once shadows, but they have long since fled. Sometimes one of the living spends the last of its days here. Um, also, far to the east live many cranium rats. Tell me of your kind. We tend to the quiet ones and obey the word of the Silent King. Yeah, tell me about the Silent King. Our Lord and Vision, who makes a law and protects us, thou would do well to start no trouble here, stranger, for the Silent King's eye is everywhere. His justice is swift. Why is he called the Silent King? Speaks no more than necessary to guide us. May I speak with them? It holds up a bony palm with a creaking groan and a puff to dust, its jaws open and speak. No. Its voice in deep and resonant echoes for a long while in the a long while in the vaulted chamber. Um But why not? Its voice booms throughout the chamber. No living creature may pass the doors that lead to this his throne room, nor would I allow thee an audience, even if such thing were possible. Thou shalt not see him. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna bluff or truth or whatever. Um... Hmm. Other questions. Why am I a prisoner? Tis will the Silent King. The living who are caught here are made to languish in its halls until they join the quiet ones. Could he be convinced to allow otherwise? Updated my journal. Tis doubtful, but perhaps mysterious are the ways of the Silent King. So, may I speak with them? No. But I need his permission to leave. No, by the power of the sake, thou shalt not leave this place. What can I do to convince you? It considers you a moment before speaking. Prove to the dead nations that thou mean it no harm. Acts of goodwill. Perhaps then I shall take thy petition to the Silent King. Hmm. I could tell the dustman that Farid is selling them corpses he stole here. I'm certain they'd stop Farid. I am sure thou can see the problems inherent in thy offer. We cannot allow thee to leave simply in the hopes that they will do such a thing. Okay. Is there some task I could perform for you? Updated my journal. Yes, perhaps. Occasionally the ghouls will miss small packs of well-hidden cranium rats that have come to spy here. Shouldst thou come across any, be sure to slay them. Okay, tell me about them. Uh, they are high brain vermin who once come in here great numbers feeding a cr Okay, yeah, 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 I know they feed. Do they have any weaknesses? Updated my journal. Their strength is gathered in numbers, which we witnessed earlier. Uh, if one were to find a slay small separator groups, uh, the stronger packs would slowly lose power. And um, hmm. Other questions. Uh, okay, ten. Where's that doubtful? Greetings. Mm. Okay. And I 
think that Dustman is on his way here, right? Very slowly. Uh, other questions cast. Hmm. What do you know of this civilization? There have been many, there have been many centuries, I think, taking care of those that have passed away in their halls. Such devotion to duty is no longer necessary. It's almost a crime. You just want to kill them. Sentence threatens the dustman. Yeah. All right. Oh wait. Yeah, Metaskeleton. Farewell. So he's not... Oh, he's not going to go talk to him. Okay, I thought he was. Or does he need a reset? I was very curious. So does he just pace back and forth? Could push him along by just running this way. Oh, he reset. Okay. All right. I'm gonna eat some of my peanut butter jelly sandwich. While also lingering with this guy in sight. The heck? Oh. It's weird. Yeah, I want to see if he goes and talks to this puzzle. Restore, yeah, that and mental fatigue. <laughs> All right, so you're here. You're here. Talk to him. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so. What did we figure out? We need to slay cranium rats. OK. You had three time, uh, three eggs, black beans, eggs, cheese, tacos. Ooh, three of them. OK, nice. I had. Um, um, are you. Uh, are you vegetarian? I'm just curious because you said black beans and I, I, I have some friends that um, um, have like black bean tacos, like say a Taco Bell, because I I didn't even know Taco Bell sells black bean tacos, but uh, no, just one taco, but it hit a three little individual beans in it. Oh, <laughs> well, I got the joke apparently. <laughs> yeah, when I uh, went to Taco Bell one day, uh, one of, one of my friends, uh, which I didn't know was vegetarian, uh, they're like, "Yeah, let's go over there. They got the black bean tacos." So, there, yeah, there you go. They were a co-worker of mine back then, so yeah. Used to be, but nowadays you eat uh, chickens and fishies. Okay. All right, so we're going to get some cranium rats. I am going to take a quick bio break here. Bio break as in bathroom and refill my drink. Um, and so I'm going to be back in about four minutes. I'm going to put up... What am I going to put up? Uh, of course, I have to tab out. Let's do. Where's my little intermission? We're, we're going to do this and put the game ambience back on. <laughs> 